Hey viewers, I just did the review of Up There from Veiled Games. I did the little unboxing of this Marwar clip here. Uh, one of my viewers asked for it, and so I got it. Um, it was cheap. I mean, there's some guys that say, hey, you got to check out the spec uh, candy shell, and that's like a $35 case, and then I don't do it because it's expensive. But this one, this is a cheap, affordable case. So uh, it looks very nice. Feels very nice. And... Uh, I don't even know what I was just saying. So without further ado, we are going to get to our game. It's called Bomber Online. Oh, no. Bomber Online. Okay, now this reminds me a lot of Bomberman. Okay. Now, it's a very fun game. I mean, it is a little bit glitchy, but it's called Bomber Online. Therefore, you play online, which means I'm going to switch it into Wi-Fi and not Edge here. Come on. There you go. Okay, so uh, it's version 1.1. Still is a little bit glitchy. Online plays a little bit shady, but you know, it's a fun game. There's two controls, a D-pad down here in the corner. I prefer that. Uh, or you can move your guy around like this. You have him follow your finger. Not quite a fan, but just depends all about who you are. We're gonna turn this music down right here, even though I do kinda like it. Anyway, so more games, community slash help that these both take you to pages. There's your profile, okay? So I'm Quinn, mail, country, there's my unlimited case email. Don't email that, please. Um, there's my picture I play with. Options, you can enable music, enable chat, controls, virtual keyboard, I like that. So there you go, that. Now you can do training, there's a Adventure mode, you can play versus a computer, and there's a tutorial. I don't know why it flashes the tutorial. I completed the tutorial, yet it's still flashing at me. So I don't know. But uh, anyway, we are going to do the adventure mode. So we're going to click continue game. And there you go. I'm in the space. There was... Anyway, so here I am. All right. There I am up in the top right corner. You see me? Or top left corner. There's my D-pad. There's my controls. I can go in and out. And I mean, you don't have to be dead on. Like, if you're right here and you want to go down, it does it for you. To place a bomb, you push that. You have to run away and get out of the, all four directions, sideways, up and down, or else you'll get electrocuted by this dude. Electrocuted. You'll get flamed. So, I'm far enough away that I don't think it's going to hurt me, and it didn't. This is poison that modifies the way you move. So right now, it sometimes, like there's, you always have to lay down a bomb. Now it's reverse. Oh, you see? So that one was reverse. So when I push down, it goes up. When I push up, it goes down. When I push left, it goes right. When I push up. Anyway, so your goal is to kill this robot. Every time you lay down a bomb, or every time it explodes, I think he moves. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Fun little game. I mean, there's different power-ups. Play my... I've gotten really good at online play, not to brag, but I've always kind of had the knack for Bomberman, and uh, I gotta admit, I'm a lot better than some other people. But anyway, as I stutter here, whoa! Anyway, so this D-pad, I mean, it's not great. In fact, there's a lot of times I'm pushing left when I'm supposed to be pushing up, but... For what I use it for, I mean, it's recreational use, it's fine. Now, what happens when you die? You lose, you saw me. What I'm going to do is purposely trap myself inside there. If I lay a bomb there, uh-oh. Anyway, you can trap yourself in. So I'm done. Evil robot has won, okay? There's an X button up at the top to escape. Do you really want to quit? Quit. There you go, you're out. So we're going to play multiplayer real fast. And uh, automatic match playing, okay? Now the server does slow down a little. It is a lot glitchier than arcade mode, which tends to make me not like it. Now, like Poker Live, all like all these other games, you jump in uh, in a round later. So if someone's playing around, you just chill until the round's done, and then you continue. Now that guy has a poison where every time, you see, every time his bombs explode, he lays down three more bombs, and so that can cause you to trap in. There's just some really nasty poisons, but then again, there's some good ones, so kind of have to pick. Okay, I'm the purple dude. Shoot, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, well, that was really embarrassing. 
supposed to do good on camera. Anyway, so they're gonna go on for a long time because other people are good. Now there's different items. That's a kamikaze thing. You have a bomb on your head. Whenever you get in a bomb's way, you just blow up and you don't. So that that guy just grabbed this remote, and uh, so that remote is a bomb, and it's an automatic or it's not automatic detonator. So you detonate it when you want, and it is a physical bomb instead of TNT. Draw game. There we go. So we're gonna continue to the next round. I mean, it's very very fun. I mean, there's chat. You can say. If I can type. Hello. There you go, shows up in the top and other people can respond. A lot of times it's profane, so I gotta be careful on what I show you. <laughs> no, it's actually pretty good, but... What are you doing, dude? What is he doing? Hard? <laughs> oh shoot, I saw that coming once I crossed it. Anyway, so uh, it's called Bomber Online. I believe it's $2.99, but it is dang fun. Now the music does play a little while after it stops. That's the only downside. Well, there's lots of downsides, but that is a major downside. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's it. Bomber Online, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay snazzy.